Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Mars Horizon. Hope you're having a good day today. Uh, so we've got, uh, we started up on our Skylab. That's the station. And uh, we also are working on the Saturn flyby. And by working on, I mean, look at it go. It's already on its way all the way over here. We're going to be flying by some Saturn. I don't know what we're going to expect over there, but uh, it's going to be fun. Okay, so let's do the next mission or the next month. We're building money because the space shuttle is expensive, but Skylab costs us a million bucks already. And currently with our active missions, they're all kind of longer duration. So once we get a free slot, like the space station one, I feel like is going to take a little bit because uh, the shuttle is probably going to take a while to build. Uh, and then the Saturn flyby, of course, has 27 months in it. So like a long time. So after this lunar broadcast is done, I'm going to see if I can't kick out little missions that don't take a whole lot of time if they're available uh just to kind of keep science rolling kind of keep the bonus coming we'll go from there um but i am gonna try to hit the si the station pretty hard here because the station has benefits that go beyond just the single mission um the station if actually modular space station gives three thousand over 20 months which is awesome you get a two thousand support word for that which is also awesome but if I go in here, you can see that this mission gets us this, International Space Station. And there's a monthly rewards on completion. So we are going to always get more support and more science. The moment this is done, we're just constantly getting more. And that's what we want. We need that. The problem is, though, in order to get that, we have to do Station 1 and 2, and I believe 3 as well because that's the completion requirement so we have a lot to do there and it's all the way down in era four is the third one this is going to take a while it's going to take a long time so we're, we're gonna this is like a slow process right there's like multiple things to go on um obviously mars is the objective but there's like multiple things we have to hit at once which is kind of cool um so let's just go to the next event mark salmink retires mark Mark Selmink has retired. He will no longer be available for missions. Okay, Mark. Whatever you say, Mark. Shh. And here I was thinking he wanted to go to space again. On the Skylab, nonetheless. I guess not. <laughs> space station payload is complete. So, engineers believe that simplified launch configuration requirements will act to mitigate any vehicle con uh, contractor's strengths and weaknesses. So, the contractor effects are decreased by 50% for this mission, which isn't that big of a deal. Lunar broadcast is done with 88%, dude. And the training bonus is increased by 100%. That's so good. Okay. Um, I want scientist, scientist, and... Let's go celebrity. And then we have a whole bunch more we can hire later too. Which one of you are going to want to go to the station, I wonder? I'm gonna have to get some new names. I don't know what Mark was. Was Mark a scientist? I think he might've been a scientist. You're 28, you retire at 50. Okay, you're gonna retire May 1998. That's good actually. Let's, let's confirm and hire you. We'll have you replace Mark. Uh, so let's go ahead and confirm this crew. A couple of scientists and a celebrity. Then the training is going to hit. So we're going to hit science very hard on this. We have decent reliability throughout. I feel pretty confident in this. And then our science reward maximum bonus is like 2,000 more science. So I'd like to go here. But the thing is, to take really a huge greedy advantage of that science bonus, I'm going to go here. Because... That gives me 45 extra. And if the weather is bad and it pushes us to May, then we get the maximum bonus. So actually, we could go all the way to... We could go to May, and if the weather is bad, we can go to June. But there's usually, like, if what will happen is, you know, rain, and then you go here and it's rain again. Oh, no. Um, at least this limits our potential, and that extra 5% isn't that big of a deal, like, consequence-wise. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that setup. And then in addition to that... The space station is ready to build. Uh, the race space station vehicle is ready to build. But we can now design a shuttle as the launch vehicle for crewed missions. So design shuttle. Hello. Hello, shuttle. Are designed the same way as normal vehicles. 
except that the upper stage and booster cannot be edited. This means they need to be able to carry the mission's payload just like any, just like other launch vehicles. As long as the mission is successful, a shuttle can be reused on future crewed missions. So we won't have to build it again. When constructing a new shuttle, it will have a build time and cost as usual. However, when reusing an existing shuttle, this will be replaced by a fitting time and cost. As fitting time and cost are far lower than normal build time and cost, reusing a shuttle can be a great way to save time and money on missions. Yes, it can. So the upper stage and booster are locked. We can also implement upgrades if you'd like to, including more launch reliability, which sounds amazing. So we're going to go ahead and do that at least. Um, and I think... Can we implement multiple upgrades? We have the points. Are you only allowed one upgrade? Even though I have more points? That sucks. Uh, I like the idea of payload reliability here, then. Vehicle build time reduction? Eh. I like the payload reliability here, then. So 2,400. We can use NASA if we want to get even more out of it. Go 10 months for an extra science bump. I'm all right with that. I think. I don't know how long it's going to take for the other agencies to do this, but I, I think we're okay with that. Let's confirm. Yeah, let's rock. 2,400. Boom! All right. Our shuttle is underway. And modular space station is going to be done. That's pretty fast. Uh, next month. Modular space station research is completed. Constructing a modular space station in low Earth orbit will provide a vital testbed for microgravity-based research and grant humanity a long-term presence in space. The first step in this ambitious project is to launch a core module containing power and environmental systems in which future modules can connect. Yes. Yes, I like all of those things. And I think Zarya is the next one, right? That's crazy. Payload reliability is low. Cost 3.6 million. Oh my god. Maybe we wait on that. Um, Let's go Mars Lander here, actually. Because all I want is... Like, I really just want the milestones, too, you know? So, Space Station is going to be done in eight months. Lunar Broadcast, seven months to launch. And our Saturn flyby is still going on. Let's zoom ahead. Yeah, ESA just did their Mars lander. It's okay. We're going to get that, too. We're starting... We lost our mission science bump. See? All the mission stuff we haven't done? We lost that now. All right. Let's do the funding. And we've got a lot of support here, so we should be back up in the new tier. Five twenty-five a month. That's awesome. I want that other. I want that other building though. I think once we have this, and we do Viking for the lander, I think at that point I probably shift gears and start doing this so that I can get this extra mission. Really, the extra mission will be helpful now. I have the money to do them. Every month that goes by. The only problem with this is, like, I don't want to spend time researching the buildings when I know I'm going to have to pay only half this much later and have the science. Like, basically, I can have PR office, um, visitor center, and uh, mission control. Yeah. Yeah. I can have PR office, visitor center, and mission control in like four months with that discount, right? So I, I can I can blitz that later with that discount. And then I actually think maybe at that point we look into the neutral uh, buoyancy lab to get our tier two astronaut perks. You know, while we still have the discount and we want to do buildings, we might as well do that. All right, new request mission is available on Earth. Tell me it pays me money. It does. Oh, it does. Lots and lots of money. Space welding as well. We should do all of these. I want more mission slots. Yeah, so I like, I like the fact that we're going to Saturn first. I love that. But, man, three years tying up a mission slot is kind of expensive, you know? So that better be worth it. It's, it's Saturn. Of course it's worth it. All right, 98% available or reliability here. I mean, there's always a chance, I guess, but this is the best we could do. So let's go. Let's skip that countdown and let's just get it on, man. Let's go.
When I see it going up slowly like that, it always gets me nervous. It's like, man, that doesn't seem like it's going up very fast, you know? But it is. Plus one command on the first turn of the first task. Okay, cool. And our boosters and stuff, our Saturn stuff, it's all going up. That's nice. All right, Lunar Broadcast. Remember, we gave everyone worldwide rights to do this. So there's like, we just need to have a lot of support for it. All right, 10% bonus reward. Because there's multiple steps to this. And each step is giving you the percentage. So um, up to a maximum of 50 permission. So we got to get 10, 10, and 9. Now, this is interesting. The controlled burn that gives us thrust is also going to affect drift. The only thing I can think of here is that that means that that engine is not built centered. <laughs> that is that is not directly behind the center of mass, okay? That's all I'm saying. They did not build this correctly. They should not drift. Maybe there's a problem with the engine in our positive effects where the the engine is like the, the nozzle or something is just like a hair off to one side and it's stuck. I don't know. I'm trying to find a reason to explain that. It looks like we're gonna get four commands, but that also means I guess the regular one is three commands because we got the positive effects. So we're gonna put a lot of drift on this doing this then. So let's anticipate that. And get a whole bunch of comms right now. I like it. Let's go. Successful. Almost. And there's nothing to there's nothing to decay there. Okay, now we're back to three commands per turn. So that was a really good bump. We got basically all the communications we would need. Uh, so now we're gonna take. Let's get a little bit more of this. Then we're gonna go boom and boom for this turn. That's awesome. I love getting bonus of the supplies I actually need. Okay. Now there's two turns remaining. And in order to get this, we got to hit this three times. So I need to start hitting this now. And that's going to drift it this way. So I've got to bias a little bit this direction. So one, two, three, this turn. It gives us all the thrust we'll need. Plus it gives us all the nav we'll need. So all that's left is to get the comms, but we also have to bring it back a little bit. So we can let this kind of decay all at once now. It's not that's not going to matter. So we want to get more comms, and it's easy to get those since our crew can do it. So we're just going to hit this. But doing this, we still need to bring it back. So we're going to have to get this, which gives us to 11. And uh, then we're going to have to get you. I think we just need to spend power here, actually. Why don't we just spend power here? That does what we need. Yeah, let's just do that. And then jam power just to make sure. That's 10, 11, and we're good. All right, this is guaranteed. Get the, get the objective and move on to to uh, achieving lunar orbit now. Nine comms and uh, nine on the data, on the observation data. So, uh, 18 and 18. We only have three crews, so let's go like this and then like this. It's a pretty good jump start. Uh-huh. Oh, you suck. You suck. Manual data collection, you suck. There we go. Oh, yeah. There's an extra data module. Okay. So, we don't need nav. We can use nav to get the things we do need. Stuff like that is really nice. Uh-huh. It's really nice. Get that. 
Come on, RNG. Yeah, buddy. Oh, oh yes! There it is! Oh, there's Anna. There is animations. There it is. I knew. If, just don't click, baby. That's all you gotta do. Those are cool. Okay, those are cool. Those are cool. Uh, all right. So, yeah. I'm sorry. That makes me giddy. There's there's animations there. That's cool. All right. So, what? Why did that proc though? What, what causes that? To, is it just success? Or wait, that was like a maybe the the positive effect causes that. Those boxes kept coming up, and it was just like, what's going on over there? Just don't click, and you'll be fine. Okay. Um. We can get all this, and then I think we just go like that. No. Can we win this turn? No. Well, maybe. We might be able to win this turn. If I just do this. Ooh, I can't because I'm out of those. It's okay. We win next turn easy, so it's whatever. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ducting experiments. All right, we just need to use three of these to do that, and we're good to go. Let's get the power to confirm, and easy game. All right, we've achieved lunar orbit. Now we need to perform the descent. That means drift. Multi-stage missions are so fun. It just, I don't know, they're just so fun. Like, it just feels like there's this progression where it's like you're, you're being taken on the ride, you know? 10, 20, and five. Drift is kind of all over the place here. We're gonna go like this for the first turn. Great. Great. So the black screens are failures. Is that what it is? <laughs> failures. All right. Um, let's punch this up more and then we can hit that. So we get five here, 10 here, and now we gotta focus hard on the data. And we also have to make sure. Oh, oh that's cool. Yes, flip the lever. Yes, good, good. Those are fun. Oh, these are fun. I'm so glad they did those. I think that, oh, give me, oh, I wanted another one. Now I like live, I live for the videos now. <laughs> All I care about are the videos. Just give me the videos. I sound like YouTube commenters. Just give me the videos, man. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, 18, 11. We're looking pretty good here. For the final turn, we need, we need to just hit this after getting this and then it kind of corrects. We'll see. At this point, I think it's more like a we'll see moment. Because we're pretty close to where we need to be. Alright, so... We obviously are going to need to get some nav. And we can do that and bring the cursor back by going like this. But... We also need a couple of data. So I think we just hit this. And charge it. And call it a day. Yeah. It's going to be putting it right where it needs to go. Excellent. I can resist the final one, so it's good. Ow! It's good. Resist. All right. We go down to the surface. And... We're going to do a worldwide broadcast. Coming at you live from the lunar surface. And uh, once that's done... All the... Uh, the NBCs and Fox Newses of the world hate us for not giving them exclusive rights. Sorry, NBC. This ain't the Olympics. You don't get to own this. 
Dock with a command module. All right. Now we got to lift off. Go back up. Yeah, a little flag. Little footsteps. Look at all the little footsteps. There should be more footsteps. Come on. You go to the moon. You're not going to, like, just prance around? Absolutely. NASA's like, okay, time to get in the command pod. Aww. Just five more minutes. <laughs> uh, okay, we can pull this back, too. Ooh, okay. So this is a good good thing to note here. Is the only thing to put the only thing we have to put the drift that direction is a three hitter on this side. Right here. Data compression is the only way to get it back on that side. And it has to be perfect. So this one might be a bit more challenging. We also don't need comms here. But we can use comms to get other things. We might be able to just hit this a couple of times every turn and just get it without moving it. I don't think we can get the bonus objective that way, but I mean, it might be worth a try. Because it doesn't move the, the needle. But if we do move the needle, we need to be able to move it exactly th at least three this way so that when we hit it the other direction, it's exactly three. Or, I mean, something divisible by it, right? So like, for example, if I go like this, it pulls it two. It means hitting this is going to move it that way, which means the only way to correct it is then to hit this. Stuff like that works. And gives me a lot of data, which is good. Um, what will be the next turn? We can just do all this. Yeah, we can just, we'll can just we just hang out in this zone. Um, preferably this, though. We can get power and then hit this twice. Uh, no. No, that won't be enough. That won't be enough. I'll have to hit. Let's hit this. Let's hit. Let's hit. Um, third over on this. Let's hit this instead. Yeah, keep that centered and hit that instead. Wait, is that what I just did? Was I going to do that anyway? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. The results seem different, so I don't think that's the same sequence. All right, we're down two turns left. I got to come up with a way to get 10 nav. Um, I have two spare, so I could actually just go bop. And then technically I could do that and that. And that just does it. So, okay. And it keeps it, keeps it locked on target there too. Cool. We are docked. Ready to return home. Oh, man. I can't wait to put the space station together. It's going to be so sick. Docking all these things together. See how it looks and everything. I mean, I suspect it will look, you know, similar to one we know, but... Uh, just the idea of like like putting it together in game seems cool. All right. The heat ones are usually easier than the the drift ones in my opinion. Cuz really it's only one way. You just want to bring the heat one way. So uh we can hit this. And then I want to get four of these. You know what actually? Let's try this instead. There's four heat. So let's hit this and then we'll hit this one. Bring it down even more. Follow that up with that. And then that will be the first turn. This gets us a ton of nav. A little bit of power, but a ton, ton of nav. All right, we're halfway to the nav requirements already. Well, okay, we're na we're halfway to the nav optionals. Um, I can go ahead and do this. Follow that with this. That gets me 16 on nav already. We're done there. Um, and then I need to focus on comms now. So I can't hit this without heat buildup. So why don't we just go ahead and hit that one. That gives me six comms. Uh, I'm out of power, so I can't resist these now. It's going to cost me an extra nav. All right. Navs are actually fairly easy to get, come to find out. Okay, so we should have 15 navigation now. 
And we don't have to worry about heat. Okay. Heat is not a concern. We can use it to get nav. And I think we will because this is a pretty good one to do for four. Um, but I also like this one for six. And then looks like we can actually use this one instead. Hmm. Let's use power instead here. We can go like this. And then the next turn, we just need two navigation. We don't have to worry about the heat. Okay. Or we just get... No, I thought we were going to get nav. Like bonus nav there would have been cool. Okay. So two nav. That's it. And we could do that with this. This also dwindles the heat. And we can, we can hit this, which gets us over the mark on all regards. And then we just hit the power to make sure we can resist something and we're good to go. Let's go. We can't resist both, but we don't have to. Beautiful. And good. We have safely returned to the surface. After a long lunar television broadcast imagine spending millions upon millions of dollars sending people all the science you have all this fuel all this time all this risk of life just to launch people up and send them to the moon to do all the complicated stuff that's involved in landing just so you can broadcast on television this is the argument for the people who think we faked the moon landing. It's like, why would you do that when you could just do it in a studio, right? <laughs> when in actual fact, and I say this as a filmmaker um, who's done a lot of like, th this, is, this, coming, this is coming from research and experience. It would be easier, like way easier in the night, late to night, 1960s. It would be way easier for us to do it for real then it would be to fake it, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying, it would be easier to do it for, for real because film, like video technology and film technology was not as advanced as it needed to be. Uh, so you would have to do a live broadcast with that. You could not record this uh, the way that that was done. It just simply would not have worked. You would have seen cuts. You would have you would have seen the you know the, the cigarette burns on the film reels as you switched roles. We don't have film reels that big that could have went on for that duration of time with no cuts. We just don't have the technology in 1960s. Uh, but we had the technology to go to the moon in the 1960s. So take it for what you will. Uh, if, if nothing else, the argument that we faked it is not based on any facts related to at least filmmaking. I, I don't. I'm not an expert on. The, the whole space shuttle thing. I'm not an expert on like what it would take to go to the moon. Um, like all the intimate details of going to the moon. I don't know everything about that, but I, I do know that we couldn't have faked it <laughs> on film, at least on television, at least. Um, so there is that going along that note. <laughs> now that I've isolated, you know, 0.2% of my viewer base, I would really hope that there's nobody in my viewer base that believes we faked the moon landing. <laughs> Um, in any case, um, the shuttle is done in a month and we have a mission slot available. So let's take a look and see what we can do with this spare slot. And I'm kind of like space welding here. Huh? Good amounts of support, decent science, it's publicized, right? I kind of like the space welding. Ah, but is there anything we could do that's like notable? We've done orbit, we've done flyby. What about things for Venus? We didn't do the Venus orbit yet. We didn't do the Venus orbit yet, and we probably should. What does Mercury got for us? Okay, a diplomatic mission with the Soviet Union. Not interested. I think... Um, I think space welding is where we're going to go here. It's cheap. It does a lot of science. Good amounts of support for what it does. I'm in. Let's do this really quick. It's going to be a quick build, right? So, Because going to Venus is a longer build. And it's going to be a longer mission. The world watches the lunar broadcast. Millions worldwide tuned in to watch the live lunar broadcast. Con conducted by your astronauts after their successful landing on the moon. 
Your PR team attributed the record. Oh, this is actually this is this is somebody reporting to me, not a television broadcast. Whoops. <laughs> your PR team attributed the record viewing numbers to your agency's granting free broadcast rights to all television stations. In a popular section of the broadcast, astronaut Mike Jones hit a golf ball using a club crafted out of a lunar excavation tool. It's gone miles and miles, the astronaut exclaimed. 400 support. Mars lander research is complete. Now we can do the lander. That's good, too. too. You know, that's good, too. I think we'll do that after the shuttle, right? Next step in exploring Mars is to send a static lander down to the surface. The lander will be required to perform a difficult landing using retro rockets or impact cushions, as parachutes will not slow the craft sufficiently in Mars' thin atmosphere. Yep, propulsive landing. It's time to get that going. The space shuttle is here. Oh, I should have renamed it. It's okay. I, I could. I should have renamed it. My bad. Um, this is Imperian. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, science mission training bonus is increased by 100%. That is massive because that's what I wanted to do. It's not very reliable though, huh? We should send a test pilot. To make it more reliable than a scientist and then a problem solver. Yeah, I like that. All right. Then science buff. We have to. We have to. So you guys are going to be brave and do the 77%. You're going to be brave. I, I trust in you. You're going to do it. And you're going to get this in October. And everything is going to be awesome. Okay, so research. Um, we, we still need the shuttle to launch before we can do the buildings and stuff. So I guess what we'll do is we'll get Viking ready so that we can do the Mars lander. Uh, I don't think we need any vehicles right now. The shuttle is kind of good for us for, for the time being. So let's get, uh, let's get Gemini going. Moon photo dominates papers. A photograph of astronaut Bryson Tobert standing beside your agency's flag on the moon has seen widespread media coverage with many newspapers already describing the image as iconic. 400 more support for that. Very cool. We're not quite going to get the... I don't think we're going to get the next tier for the... Well, I mean, we're launching the space station in four. The funding reviews in seven. I think that space station is going to get us a lot of support. So we might actually get to the next tier. I think so. Let's get Gemini going. So this is for the space welding thing. And we have build time. It has been increased. That's unfortunate. But um, the uh, cost has been reduced. So I want to get maybe this one. And I could try Atlas here. It's kind of maxed out. I'm tempted to like try a different vehicle to see if it can get more experience. But I'm also questioning why that's necessary when we have a vehicle that's basically the same cost it's already level five and it has an upgrade slot which we could do to increase the payload reliability so we're going to take that um, the other one advanced weatherproofing launch reliability penalty due to negative launch conditions is halved i wish if we had the points available we could we could make we could do more more of these right like the space shuttle has six points but I, I don't know how to equip multiples, you know? Like, can I hold shift and stuff? Does that work? Like, shift doesn't do anything. Control doesn't do anything. I'm we don't have the points to do that now, but... You know, I just feel like maybe, maybe I'm missing something there. I, I thought you could do multiples. Um, like, six points. I don't have anything that takes six points. Um, So, the build time is a thing. I, I think I want more support. Honestly, at this point, I kind of want more support. But I don't want it to cost more because that's this is a little counterproductive. Like 240 support at where we are, 240 support is I don't think worth two hundred thousand dollars. We're gonna get the science bump instead. Six months. Rock and roll. Alright. You guys ready? Viking research is done, by the way. So we can we can start on the uh the lander if we want to. Uh, you know, instead, before we do this, six thousand. 
Yeah, we're going to study that for a second. Okay, you guys ready? It's space station time. Space station time. Shuttle time. Yeah, it's space shuttle time. Ready to launch? Let's go. Well, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to postpone that one, aren't we? Told you that shit was happening. Uh, all the way down. No, we're not. We're not launching that. Let's reschedule the launch for the following day, which now we get the maximum bonus for this. So let's go. All right. Next month. And the space station is uh, ready to launch, dude. Ten months. The Russians have ten months to go. Okay. Uh, we're looking pretty good here. Let's go ahead and launch that in. It's raining again. You see this? You see this? Huh? It gets you that bad weather twice in a row. And then you're like, well, I got to re-roll. And so then you do this one. And uh, then you cross your fingers and hope that it doesn't give you bad weather three months in a row. Which is pretty horrendous if that happens. Looks like we're good this time. So we're going to have much better launch chances. 85%. And critical failure chances only 4% with 11 on the negative 21% chance of a positive event and we've got the advanced shock absorption vehicle upgrade to help with our payload this is gonna be sick let's go Five, four, three, two, one. so much history in this man so much history in this man Come on, you big, inefficient piece of junk. Go! Oh. It's so big. <laughs> I love it, though. It's so good. Landing is going to be interesting. I wonder if we have to, like... <gasps> Holy crap! That thing could have blew! Oh, my God. That was close. <laughs> Payload failure, though. One random command is lost from a module on its first turn of the first task. That's actually the... That is that is the... Uh, the best possible negative outcome. That's like the... Who cares outcome. Dude, it's over there. Here we go. Achieve Earth orbit. I'm not sure why... This is out while we're trying to achieve Earth orbit. We would have orbit already at this stage, but all right. Uh, let's see, 49 of them? Oh my god. Okay. Which one is disabled? That one. Okay, I can't use this one. Everything else, though, it's on the table. Okay, well, we can use crew to get four of these. Use crew to get this, and then hit this. For now, that only gets me to eight. My God, there's so many to go. Manual data collection. Please show me animations for the shuttle. Please. Can I please see animations for the station and the shuttle? Let's get this followed by that and that. 20 is good. Let's keep going. Come on, give me that green zone. I want to see it. Ah, uh, right. I'm not really using that much power. This, this is actually kind of nice. These trades we're getting are pretty good. All right, let's use um, this Weiss, and then um, this once. No, I don't think we can afford to do that twice. Um. Yeah, I can't afford to do that twice. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Okay, so on the turns where we can hit this twice, it's nice. But maybe this will help. Go like like that. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do this one. And then the next turn, we should be able to hit that one twice for a big jump. So this satisfies the requirements, but I want the bonus, of course. You know me. Uh, so we can hit this. And then boom, boom. That brings us to 39 with two turns left. I'm feeling pretty confident. All 
I was really hoping for it, man. I want an animation so bad. All right. Um, we can hit this. Now we have six. Hit this twice. And we're at 50. Bitchin! Come on, give me the animation for this last bit. Ah. Well, maybe we have like another action for like deployment or something. All right, we're in. Now what? Good. Deploy space station system. And we have to deal with drift here. All right. All right. So we want 14, 19, and 8. Six turns on this. And it looks to me like modifier fluctuating. Oh, man. Fluctuating drift. Lame. <laughs> oh, you're getting, you're just changing things up on me now. You're, you know, you're changing the rules, guys. All right. You're just changing the rules. Drift will be modified between negative one and one at the start of the next turn, but you don't know which one it is. Oh. Well, how about I play some mind games with you then, huh? What do you think? Your move, meter. Your move. What you gonna do? Fluctuating drift. Okay, it doesn't move. It chose zero. That's right. You don't know what to do. I stunned you. You're so confused. You're like, ah, uh, uh, um. <laughs> Let's get uh, this one. Pops it by two in that direction. We'll use crew to bring it this way. And then I think I want to get... Let's leave it at one. You know, for now. Maybe the game will bring it back for us. It could happen. We'll bring this one. Come on, give me that 10%. Come on. I want to see the video. Oh, you went the wrong way. Okay, no problem. We'll do this one and then this one. And then we'll do this one and that makes it zero. And we're getting really close. We just need some more nav modules. See, this is basically equal odds on both sides, but this one hits, like, all the time compared to the other one. I was just trying to talk it into doing the right thing. <laughs> all right, it's, it's, it's centered up now. So we want to get a lot of these nav, but unfortunately, we cannot do nav output without drift. Actually, kind of a little bit ironic, if you think about it not being able to get navigation information unless you put drift on your vehicle. Just saying, it's a little bit like, did you do that on purpose? Um, yeah, so something like that would keep us in the zone, keep us within one. Come on now. See what I'm saying? We hit this one like three times already. This one never. They have the equal odds. Come on now. All right. So we have one drift on that side then. So we just need to... Um, again, we can't get nav module result hitting it that way. So I'm going to hit this one just so we bring it to this direction. And then and use the spare to get use power and then use this one now we bring it right on the right on point and we get all the bonus go right on point right on point let's go oh it's opening it's opening Oh, like, that's so cool. We got the first space station. Yeah, baby. And we finished two milestones, which means 50% building research cost reduction for six months. We are going to be sh going shopping for some buildings, baby. Uh, yes, we are. And you get to see 
how this whole thing progresses in the next video. That's right. And Space Telescope is actually halfway done. That's cool, too. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you haven't already. Check out anything else we got going on. I'm pushing out some videos for Endzone as well. That game is really capturing my attention. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye.